Okay, this is my review of the Canadian C3 gas mask. I want to put a warning out before I start this review. If you're buying a gas mask for protection against the chemical or biological attack, do not buy a surplus gas mask. By any means, no matter what the seller's saying, even if he says brand new, what brand new means is unopened, you know, still in the original box and packaging. These masks are from anywhere from the 1980s down to the World War One era. So these will offer no protection in a chemical or biological attack, mainly because the gas masks themselves, the rubber may be ruptured or ripped because it's that old, and because of the filters. Filters have a very strict expiration date. Once they've gone past the five or ten year lifespan, they are completely useless and become hazardous to breathe. Now because this filter was made in the 1970s, 1971s to be more specific, there's no asbestos in it. So there shouldn't be much of a health hazard if you put this on. You know obviously you're not gonna go to bed in it, but you know, I'm just putting a quick warning out there. Now with the review anyway. It's a fairly standard gas mask, it's very comfortable. See so you've got your two what appear to be bug eye lenses here. The offer Absolutely fantastic field of view, no obstructions at all. You got your voice modulator thing there. I'm not an expert on gas masks, so I could get some of the terminology wrong here. You also got your mount where your um, filter goes there. Sadly, this is a 60 millimeter filter. I think I got that right there. Or the threads, 60 millimeter, and NATO gas masks have the 40 millimeter threads. You can, however, buy the 60 to 40 millimeter adapter, but you know, this is just a wall hanger, I'm not going to bother with that. Right, moving on to the back of the gas mask. You can see it does have this spider like harness here. In theory, this is adjustable. I found no possible way whatsoever to adjust this. Luckily, though, it does fit on my head. Absolutely fine. It did say it was a one size fits all, so. You know, I'll let them off with that. Yeah, you've got some serial numbers here. I'm not sure going to be able to see that because of the light, but... Yeah, it just says normal, uh, presuming that means the size. This is where your... Your filter goes. It is looking... Not in the most pristine of shape, but... You know, for... What is it, 50 odd years? It's looking alright. Inside the gas mask. You can see it is all mostly constructed out of this silicon rubber. I have to say putting this gas mask on is very comfortable. And you know what? It just feels like an extension of your head really is that comfortable, you don't really notice it. You know, I'm sure you would after a few hours like, but anyway, moving on. This is the filter. A nice addition is this filter is made of some sort of metal, I think steel or something like that. It's a nice addition because a lot of the um, filters seem to be made of plastic. Let's turn this light on. Oh no, you need that light on I think. And it says lot 126, 202 gram. I presume that weighs 202 grams and it's lot 126, bit of a no brainer really. Trying to find a date for you. I'm doing this off camera, sorry. Okay, here it says, I'm not sure if you can see that, but it says 1971. So this will be completely asbestos free because they stopped using asbestos and gas masks, and I believe, I think it was the early 60s. Right, I'm just going to cut to some video of me actually wearing the gas mask and show you what it's like. Bit of a warning though, if you've got long hair. These can be a little bit tricky to get on and off, so I'll be wearing a balaclava. Okay, so wearing the gas mask, you can see it fits very snugly. Okay, I'm not used to wearing this at all, so let me breathe, might be a bit out of sync here, but um, Jesus. Um, it is a very good fit, it's very comfortable. I'll just turn around there, you can see it fits me absolutely perfectly. If you want, you can put a hood up, just to make it look more menacing, I suppose. 
You can see the hose that, you know, with the hose, it does look pretty good, I have to admit. I'm not sure how well you're going to be able to hear me because this does take quite a bit of sound out your voice. I'm just going to try something else, just wait there. Okay, this is a World War II German helmet. I'm just going to try it on for out of curiosity just to see how well it was to fit if the shoes are squeaky full of us. Okay, that's not exactly where, but you know, oh well. Back to the point. See the gas mask, it fits very well. I mean, I'm just going to try the filter on, it won't do you much harm. Okay, so I'm now wearing the gas mask with the filter. I have purposely left a little gap under here just in case. You know, I don't feel entirely comfortable with this thing on because God knows what's in here. But yeah, you can see with the filter, it is looking pretty good. It's not one he one side is heavy, surprisingly, considering it's made out of metal. Yeah, but it seems to have fit really, really well. For the 25 car, I'm absolutely made up of it. Just give you one last shot. And yeah, as you can see, it does look pretty good. I'll just try and put the hood up once more. You know, yeah, looks pretty good. Got a Halloween costume or uh, other costume for purposes I will talk about. But yeah, a really good gas mask for the money with a new filter maybe second gauge some tear gas but in a nutshell that's my very positive review of the Canadian C3 gas mask thanks for watching